Hello my favorite YouTube viewers, how's it going? It's Nathan here. Alright, so we have a brand new self-washing robot, the Obo PA, should be available February 9th on Kickstarter. Like a lot of these self-washing robots, they have separate freshwater, dirty water tanks, about 4 liters each, but the Obo PA is a little bit different, it also has an onboard water tank of the robot itself, so when you're mopping, you don't have to worry about refilling, the robot back and will go back to its docking station, auto refill its tank, now, let's go ahead and slap on the mopping pads and see how well the Oboe PA does. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the design here. You can see the top loading water tank, something I haven't really seen. A lot of these mopping robots have their water tank down below. Also, you have this dustbin. So yes, it can vacuum and mop simultaneously. It's a very large dustbin. I believe it's around 480 milliliters, similar size to like the Roblox. Now, there is a button to open up the dust tank, but I don't want to spill all the dirt. Also, there's a filter, which is washable and there's a mesh filter. So it makes it pretty easy to wash out the filter and dustbin. Since we're starting 2022, we now have robots that can refill the water tanks. So when you start a mopping job, the robot will refill its water tank and also will pre-wash the mopping pads. In the application, there's actually three different cleaning modes. You have dry sweeping, you have dry sweeping with vacuuming, and you have wet mopping. Now, dry sweeping is basically the robot doesn't pre-wet the mopping pads, but they do have to be installed prior to starting the robot. The robot will not start without the mopping pads being installed. So if you're looking for a uh, mopping robot that can self-clean, I think the P8 should do fine. Now keep in mind, if you have a large area, I do recommend the P8 over like the W10 since it does have an onboard water tank, unlike the W10 which has to go back and pre at the mopping pad. But keep in mind that the water tank on the P8 is a little bit smaller, but you have more control over how much water you can put down on the mopping pads. Okay, so overall the P8 does a fine job picking up dried up coffee. It's a little moist, I waited about an hour after spilling his coffee for that to dry up a little bit. But you can see it was able to pick up most of the coffee. Stop cleaning. Alright, so here's a look at how dirty the mopping pads are. You can see that it was able to pick up the coffee. So let's go and see how well the self-cleaning system works. Go back to charge. So the whole cleaning process takes about 2-3 to three minutes and after that there's about an hour to 2 hours of drying which actually has hot air blowing on the mopping pads to help avoid mildew. As you can see it did a pretty good job moving most of the coffee. There's a little coffee residue near the center of the mopping pads but I'm pretty sure if I did a secondary cleaning it should get the majority of that coffee off of there.
So in the wet bopping mode, it's fairly quiet. You could easily run this at night or when you're watching television. Now, if you're going to do dry mopping with the vacuuming, uh, it's a little bit louder. So just keep that in mind. One interesting thing is it starts with the perimeter first, and then it will fill in that perimeter with a back and forth cleaning pattern. If you are using this robot in a larger area, I do recommend breaking up this area in different zones so the robot can go back, refill its water tank, and also clean the mopping pad so it's not spraying around dirty water. So as I was using the PA for a while, I noticed that my floors definitely looked cleaner than before. I do appreciate the different cleaning modes. Uh, some days I don't want to have water on my floor, so I just do some dry mopping with the vacuuming on. Now, this particular model does have no mopping zones, so I definitely recommend using them, or this will vacuum will try to mop your carpets. So that's just something to consider when buying this unit. There's no carpet avoidance sensor. You can see with this particular model, it has the counter rotating mopping pads. Uh, that's something I've seen on a lot of the competitors. Um, they also have the extractor bar, which is a combination of bristles and silicone, uh, like blades here for the vacuum part. You can see the large wheels, and unlike the Eva, which has a single side brush, this particular model has dual side brushes. Let's talk about how the uh, vacuum uh, cleans its mopping pad. With a lot of these uh, vacuums, they actually have a mopping plate, which is right here and they actually allow you to remove it. Let's see if I can remove it here. There's like a little button here on the side. And what they do is they spin and they scrape against these little plastic fins, which help remove the dirt and grime. Now, there is a little pump that sucks up the dirty water and it goes in a separate uh, dirty water tank. There's a fresh water tank as well. All the well, vacuums are reviewed. They have an application and they have a lot of the same features like smart mapping, uh, you can save multiple maps, you can do keep out zones, you can do areas uh, zones, you can also do no mopping zones. If you're interested, I'll put a link down below. Well, thanks so much for watching and I hope you liked this video. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Adios.